YouTube, what's going on? My name is Argon. Welcome back to some Fortnite informational, instructional, and conversational type of content. Today we got another video for you guys, ranking best to worst. Last week we did a video called the best to worst, or worst to best, legendary items in Fortnite Battle Royale. We really were talking about item shop skins that you can buy, but this week we're going to do something a little bit different. Thank you to Mercury for this video idea. Basically, we're going to go in, look at all the legendary items that are actually in-game, so weapons, consumables, what have you. And we're going to rank those things from worst to best so you know when you find a gold item whether or not you should stack it in your inventory or not. So thank you to Mercury for the very good idea. Really cool. We're going to get into it, guys. But before we get into it, of course, we got to talk about, remind you that we are running a giveaway on this channel every single month. The most active people will get V-Bucks every single month. So the way that you be active is to make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure you got notifications turned on. Make sure you're liking all the videos and stay active in the comment section. If I see your name pop up a lot, I'm more likely going to be giving you V-Bucks. Also, if you want to follow me on on Twitter, Instagram, whatever, join our Discord. It's all in the description below. Make sure you follow as much as you can. Get active, stay involved. That's the best way to win some V-Bucks, guys, and have some fun. So let's get into this, guys. There are 18 items in the field, in the battlefield of Fortnite Battle Royale for you to look at that are gold or legendary that you may consider to see and pick up in your inventory when you come across them. Let's go ahead and rank them from worst to best, starting at the worst. Number 18, the bush. Should be no surprise. The bush is an absolutely trash consumable. I almost never see it get used anymore, and people just don't want to do it. When you can hide in a regular bush, why use an inventory item? I guess you don't really have to use an inventory item. You can just put it on as soon as you get it but either way I don't see it get used that often and it gets left behind certainly not worthy of a gold status status and it might actually be worthy of the vault so we'll see there's been some rumors about that hopefully it gets sent to the vault because you know how much I like bushes but that's it for number 18 guys number 17 is the hand cannon now this one kind of sucks to put so low because it used to be really good once they introduced first shot accuracy and they introduced damage drop off the hand cannon went from being pretty good to Pretty meh. So now with damage drop off, you can't really hit for one shots across map like you used to, which was what made it like a fun weapon to use and actually powerful. Up close, it's really hard to use because it's a slow firing pistol essentially that does a lot of damage, but it's hard to aim with and it fires really slowly. So it's not the best thing to use up close. So it's just all around not, a, not that viable. So for me, the hand cannon comes in at number 17. Coming in at number 16, guys, we have the Gold Guided Missile. Now, back in the day, this might have been a little bit higher. Recently, since they've nerfed it, essentially, it's more like a meme thing. <laughs> the meme missile, if you will. It is supposed to be good for scouting, but I can tell you guys, the range on this thing is absolutely abysmal. You can't do much damage with it. It's really just meant for flying around and seeing if you can, I don't know, see where people are. But once, you know... I don't think it's a really good tactic to be honest because let's say you're flying this thing around looking for people and You don't find anybody. Well, everybody knows where you are because they saw where your missile got shot from so eh, Not really the best thing, but either way it's fun for the meme So it comes in at number 16 coming in at number 15 guys We have the gold vending machine. I know what you're thinking this isn't something that stacks in your inventory But it does provide you inventory items It is a little bit lower on this list simply because you never know what you may be getting out of it You may get a guided missile hand cannon or bush but hopefully you get something better. And now recently, since they kind of buffed the way that you can get stuff out of the vending machines, they've essentially lowered the material it takes from 500 down to 350 for gold. So it's actually a lot more viable that you might get something better. So this actually could rank a little bit higher, but the fact that you ultimately don't know what you're going to be getting out of it, to me, keeps it a little bit lower. Coming in at number 14, guys, we have the double barrel shotgun. Now, I made a big video on this last week. I think this gun's not that good. I know a lot of pros think it's really good, but that's because they have god tier accuracy. The rest of us mortals don't have that level of accuracy, so for us, it's probably dangerous to use this type of weapon, so it definitely does not need to be really high on the gold category, for me at least. I don't think it's really good. I've even seen Tifu using it, and he picked it up and ran with it and instantly died because he couldn't hit his shot. So I don't think it's a really good gun. I made a big documentary about it last week, so make sure you check that out. But either way, the double barrel shotgun comes in at number 14. Coming in at number 13, we have the semi-auto sniper, guys. This one ranks low for obvious reasons. It doesn't do a lot of damage. It's still a sniper at the end of the day. The fact that you can shoot without having to reload for 10 shots to me is not really worth it. I'd rather have a higher damage output. So for me, the semi-auto sniper, yes, it can be good to take shield off. So for that respect, I do like the snipers, and that's really what they've become now in this meta nowadays is really something to help reduce the amount of health that your opponent has before you actually engage them close quarters. Unfortunately, they're not that effective at actually doing one-shot kills is very rare, so that's why they get a low ranking. 
Coming in at number 12, guys, we have the RPG, the gold rocket propelled grenade, if you will. The RPG used to be really powerful, and I would have ranked it a lot higher back in the day, but with recent nerfs to so the amount of ammo that you can carry, it's just not as effective as it used to be. It's also not carried that frequently, and it's just with the high reload time, a lot of people have a way of countering it. So when they know that you only can have like maybe 12 rockets on you, and they can just build 12 walls to protect themselves, there's really not much benefit to it. It's almost like... It's being used more likely as a backup to a shotgun nowadays, so and that's dangerous because you're going to damage yourself too. But either way, the RPG sadly has fallen down from grace down to number 12. Coming in at number 11, guys, we have the dual pistol. Now, I'm a little bit on the fence on this. I know on PC it's not as viable as it is on console because we have auto-aim, or I should say keyboard mouse versus controller. When you have auto-aim with these things, man, they are pretty, pretty good. I do like these guns a lot. However, they are hard to hit with, but they do tons of damage, so for me, they come in at number 11. Coming in at number 10, guys, we have the bolt-action sniper rifle. This was always one of my favorite weapons for a long time, but ever since day one, being one of the few weapons that actually has projectile, you know, shots, if you will, you do have to lead your shots. It is extremely hard to hit sniper shots, and it's even harder now that people are jumping around a lot, building a lot quicker. You're maybe going to get one shot on somebody that's not expecting you to hit them, and that's about it, and either way, if they have shield, it's the odds of you actually taking them out. It's not that easy. It is doable, though, if you get a headshot. So for that's why they rank a little bit higher. But either way, the Bolt Sniper comes at number 10. Coming in at number 9, guys, we have the Suppressed Pistol. Now, this one, I'm not sure if a lot of you guys are using it, but it's a pretty dang good gun. If you have any type of, like, a light round weapon early game, I would pick the Suppressed Pistol over that just because it does a lot of damage. It has a good amount of range. It's pretty darn accurate, and it fires quickly, and it's quiet. It's really, really a good gun. If you haven't tried it out, try it out. And let me know what you think. But the suppressed pistol comes in at number nine. Coming in at number eight is the chug jug, guys. Now, this could rank lower because late game, it's really hard to use just because it takes a full 15 seconds. And late game, most of the time, people know where you're at. And the ability to take a chug jug and have 15 seconds to relax to yourself is not that easy. So it's really good up till about half point of the game. If you find one early, you can use it to max out on your shield, but at that point, you're not getting the full effectiveness of it where you have, you know, full health already. You ideally would love to do this when you have one HP and no shield because then you're getting max utility out of it. The amount of times you actually end up being able to do that is very rare, but that's the reason why this one doesn't come in a little bit higher. It should actually be a little bit lower, but it's still effective and very useful. And whenever you see that Chug Jug Man, it's a sign. It's like a breath of fresh air. <laughs> Coming in at number 7, guys, we have the Gold FAMAS, the Burst Action Assault Rifle. I had to rank this lower just because it really doesn't do much. It used to be pretty good. For some reason, I think when it first came out, people were hyped about it. They thought it was really good. It never really performed up to its expectations. It doesn't really belong very high on the list. But it's still an AR. It's still accurate. It still does a good amount of damage. And you could have a lot worse weapons in your inventory. So for that reason, the gold from Moss comes in at number seven. Coming in at number six, guys, is the gold minigun. This hurts me. Hurts me to put this so high on the list, but I, I have to. What do you do late game when you have somebody with a thousand light bullets and a weapon that requires no reload and just sprays? And it's just... It's just devastating. And with recent buffs that they've done to the amount of damage that this does to materials and structures and whatnot. And I don't know if you guys saw a clip that I did a while back. I might be posting it right now. So I played a guy that double tapped me in the head with a minigun. Like two shots with a minigun. That's insane. It's extremely strong now. It's very viable. It does leave you exposed when you're using it just because of the way you have to hold it. So keep that in mind if you are using it. I hate using this gun just because I feel like a little, you know whatever <laughs> but it is effective i can't deny that coming in at number five guys we have the grenade launcher now the grenade launcher has actually become a lot more viable it, it kind of like comes and goes for some reason it seems like it's very powerful and then they'll introduce some special skin for it for like fourth of july or easter or christmas and then it gets bad and then it starts getting good again. The grenade launcher is really helpful when you're pushing a team or a person and they're building. It just devastates any structures that they're placing. A lot of times we'll do damage to them. You don't even have to aim with it. Just spray. You can carry more rounds on this than you could with the RPG. And of course, don't forget, your teammates can also carry rounds for you if you are playing in a team mode. So keep that in mind. It's just really useful, guys. It's a really smart way to push bases instead of building to protect yourself. Just start spraying that thing. Make them build while you push them. It's a really good tactic. It really helps. And in the meantime, you're probably going to be doing damage to him anyway. But the nade launcher for me comes in at number five. 
coming in at number four guys we have the heavy shotgun i wish i could put shotguns higher all shotguns higher but unfortunately the heavy one is really the only one that does good amount of damage at range up close what have you for a shotgun and it, it belongs high on the list just because it is a really good entry into a shot you take your first shot with that and then you can follow with other weapons drum guns what have you which by the way drum gun is not a gold variant thank god or it would be number one easily <laughs> but the heavy shotgun for me is coming in at number four coming in at number three guys we have the compact smg the old, good old p90 now i probably could rank this lower if it didn't have that introductory period where it was just a god gun where literally you were lasering people from across map full damage taking no damage drop off for some reason this weapon was insane when it first came out it got nerfed right away so had it not even had that initial and it had released in this the way that it is now i probably would have ranked it lower but the fact that it is still kind of a go-to gun for a lot of people i think requires that this thing be ranked higher on the list at number three Coming in at number two, guys, we have the Thermal Assault Rifle. Believe it or not, I don't know if you were wondering where this was on the list. It's pretty darn good. If you guys pick this thing up, you can just hide from range and just pop people off. Not only can you see their, their heat signatures, so you actually know where there's people hiding in structures or whatever, but there's no damage drop off to this weapon, guys. You can laser people from distance for 36, 72, no problem. It's really, really, really useful, especially if you're playing team mode. You sit back pop people with this get them start getting weak while your teammates are pushing it is really really good guys i would have ranked this number one had it not been for the fact that it's really ineffective up close but this gun is just really really good but the thermal assault rifle for me is coming in at number two coming in at number one the top dog this guy has made every top list i've ever made essentially i thought when i looked at this that this would rank a little bit lower just because of the meta these days but like I said earlier, if there was a gold drum gun, that would have been number one for sure. However, there isn't one yet, so for that reason, the good old-fashioned day one OG gold scar, the most sought-after weapon from day one of this launch of this game, still ranks as the king of all weapons, of all gold items, of all whatever items. The gold scar comes in at number one. It is accurate. It's powerful. It scares people, it's useful up close, it's useful at range, it's just a beautiful weapon. You can't go wrong with a gold scar, guys. I'm sure, though, however, eventually this thing will fall down the list just because meta is going to change. People are going to end up, I don't know, one day where freaking jump pads can kill people. I don't know. It's going to be weird. One day the gold scar will lose its crown. However, it's pushing almost a solid year now for me where this is the number one item in the game. However, the lead is a lot smaller than it used to be it used to be far and away gold scar was the king of the game and that was it but now it's eh, you probably would disagree with me there's some people that would disagree with me whereas before nobody would disagree however that's the list guys 18 to 1 gold items in the game consumables weapons whatever let me know what you think in the comment section down below don't forget about the giveaway stay active so you can get active v bucks every single month if you did enjoy this video though make sure you leave a like if you are new here make sure you subscribe and if you're not following me on social media those links are down in the description below and as always guys my name is argon and may you never die to a bush Peace.